Hey guys, do you want to learn how to record your computer screen? Well, stay tuned and I'll teach you step by step. Boom shakalaka, what's up homies? My name's D-Nice and I am here to teach you how to record your computer screen as fast as possible. Let's see if I get this done in under three minutes. Now, first, we need to download the software. Go to Google Chrome or whatever internet browser you're using. Uh, in Google, type in OBS. Whoa, I need to learn how to spell. Uh, type in OBS download, and then it should be the first one. Now, if you're using Windows, click the first one, the first picture. If you're using Apple, click the second picture. If you're using Linux, click the cute penguin. And then click download installer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna install it. And after you install it and you open it up, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like a giant black box, okay? And what you're gonna do is uh, right click under sources or click this plus sign, whatever you're feeling tonight. <laughs> and go to display capture, click okay. And now it is capturing your computer screen. And if you want your mouse to show up, you make sure this is check capture cursor and click okay. And see, see how easy that was? That's That was so quick. One other thing, well, a couple of other things that you have to do to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So what you wanna do is go up to files, then click settings. Go to output. Make sure the output mode is simple because we're keeping things simple tonight. Make sure you know where you're saving your files because that's always important. Um, go to high quality, medium file size. Now for recording format, I recommend that you do MKV or FLV, but I definitely recommend M MKV strictly because if your computer randomly turns off or OBS crashes, the file will still be readable. If you record an MP, in MP4, your file will get corrupted if something bad happens, and we don't want that. We do, do, we do not want that, trust me. Um, okay, so next you wanna go to audio, and then you go to desktop audio device. You pick what your default audio device is. You can pick default here. That, that makes things more simple. And then for your mic, if you're using a mic and not just recording your screen, you can set what your microphone is. And then under video, you can set whatever resolution, 1080p should be default, unless your computer screen is 720, I think. You can record at 30 frames per second or 60, depends on what your computer can handle. Okay, so here's a tip. If for whatever reason, your computer is having a problem with recording your screen, you can go to here and under output and go to encoder and you can go to the second one, which is low CPU usage preset. Now it's going to record a bigger file size, but it's gonna be easier on your computer. So you don't have to worry about your computer lagging and a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Okay, so after all that, you click okay. Then you hit start recording and you're done. That's it, you're recording your computer screen. Once you're done recording your video, you hit stop record and you go to file and go to Remux recordings. Now, if you've recorded in MKV, this is for you. What you wanna do is click these three dots, go to where your file is, click open, and then hit Remux, and then your file is automatically an MP4, which is a format that is used by basically everything. If you guys thought this was helpful, make sure to slap that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.